Good morning, everybody. Linda Ray, Texas Girls Farm. And as you can see, I'm over hanging out with the chickens. Um, I don't know who dumped all their feed, but somebody did. But yeah, I haven't um, really just hung out with them. I was uh, filling up their water, cleaning out um, Mr.'s water. That was him underneath there. He's doing fine. Uh, let's see if we can get a picture of him because his feathers are slowly, let's see, growing back in. There he is. You see on his head, they're slowly trying to come back in. And once all of his feathers come in, he can come back out. He seems to be doing fine. Every now and then I let a couple of the girls in there and they peck him. So, you all right, mister? A.K.A. Karen. He's got lots of food, lots of water. Don't have to worry about getting picked on. But there's a good shot. Yeah, his feathers are trying to come back in. Mr. Mister. Mr. Mister. He knows who he is. He knows who he is. Let's yeah, put some um, more pine shavings down. I'm trying to keep everything... Um, where it's kind of composting, put some heat off in here, and you can see, put more pine shavings in there, put more pine shavings in the boxes, just to, it's a deep bed, and it's got probably three inches or more in there, and I just keep it um, turned over. And there's the girls trying to come in and take care of their business, so I'm going, I'm going, she's telling me to... Run, go on, run off. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys how everybody's doing. I need to come and bring the feed that I picked up yesterday and mix it. I need to move this, which I think I'll move that back over in the corner and rake, rake all that out. So let me get that done and then I'll come back to y'all. It all kind of raked up. I usually clean out that spot that's down there so if it happens to rain it will drain out even though i have if you see on the outside um <clears throat> a tube hooked to a drain out front that takes all the water that runs down and pushes it out sometimes it there's too much of it and uh, i built this up i don't know why i do every day they come back and throw it all against the fence but right here i mean it's just to help generate some heat in the nighttime when they're sleeping. I did the same thing. This raked it out from around half of the wood and built it up. I try to keep this area over here as clean as possible. It don't matter. Every morning I come in and uh, they've done scratched um, <laughs> anything they can over it. So. Um, I may be out back out here after a while. Um, there's my three girls. They always hang together. One of them are the mama of that other rooster that's over there in the other group that gets picked on all the time. But all these girls are doing fine. My little sweetie, she's been staying in. Um, not, not getting out. She's molting. And, um, I guess that's... All of her feathers that I found over in the corner this morning. But everybody seems to be doing good. And look how big he's gotten. Hey, Red. What are you doing, Red? What are you doing, Red? They're slowly calming down. Slowly calming down. And look at that, that, the feathering on that girl. It's that golden wine dot and that partridge cotton, just like that rooster that's over in the other pen. She's going to slowly make it up here. Don't get into that. That is not food. That is not food. Don't eat that. I'll cover it up. What are you doing, girl? You want out? Junior, where are you going? Junior's after something. All right. Well... Let me go check on the other ones, and I'll be back with y'all shortly. Got news for y'all. Now we're in this group with these big boys. And for roosters, I mean, every now and then when I'm picking them up in the nighttime to put them back in the coop, 
they peck me. There's the other one I was talking about. He goes over there and hangs out with Dutton, so I've been throwing him some feed. These guys are waiting for me to open the gate, even though the little ones have done found their way out. But it appears that they have been started using their nesting box in the pen to lay their eggs. Because I got two eggs from these two girls yesterday. They were the same color. Her egg will be a little bit darker. But look how pretty he is. There he is. They're all such nice roosters. I mean, and I mean, they don't fight, fight, but they establish their pecking order and they all stay together. They stay with their hens. And of course, she's out again. Mama's doing good. Dutton, he's Dutton. Dutton's Dutton. But this one talks to me a lot. Then I Dutton says, oh, wait a minute, I want the camera. This one talks to me a lot. He'll be out here shortly. He won't be out with the rest of them. He'll go over to the big flocks pen and hang outside there and agitate um, Leghorn. Huh, Dutton? I'll let you out in a little bit when it warms up just a little bit. But um, let me get up here. I've already cleaned up their pen and raked up and threw them some more hay. It looks like Mama's done been in here and knock down the boards. I put a little bit of feed down there just when I first open them up to let some of them stay in there and eat. And of course, Grace comes over and eats it all, but I throw them some clean hay down in there. I need to probably put some more in. I'll do that later. Like, they only stay in there in the nighttime. I had to put every one of them in last night. Um, they all perch up here and um, I decided hey, y'all need to go in he's looking other roosters looking for a way to come out he knows how to get out all right let me take y'all where I can sit down and I'll talk to y'all so I decided to come in the greenhouse where it's a little bit warmer because um, it was like I think 35 degrees when I came out here um this morning so what i wanted to talk to y'all about yesterday after i did uh, the video um i had another surprise uh, uh, both my builder and shane who did the concrete foundation who's been helping me kind of as a general contractor maybe i mean he's trying to save me some money um they all came over and he had his little girl ashlyn with her so i got to see her i hadn't seen her in a while got to uh I hang out with her for a while and she enjoyed it uh, she she likes coming over here I think she's maybe five or six anyway news um, they should have lumber being delivered either today or tomorrow the framing crew is supposed to show up Saturday and start framing we talked about windows we talked about the loft um, they were wanting to know how many windows up in the loft. And I'm like, do I have to make a decision right now? Huh? I said, I definitely want a big one. Um, but I'm still, because the loft is now going to be, if they bring the platform out where the steps lead up to, it's going to bump it out to be either 14 or 15 foot wide by 27. So I'm thinking... I could probably frame in a small bedroom and I mean make it about 12 by 10 or 12 by 9 and then leave all the other area open um, for like a little lounge area with the TV for the you know it, it's for the grandkids and you know family when they my kids come and visit have enough room for everybody so um, they said we could wait um, we know, I told him I know I want a big window up there. I just don't know how big. So, um, but, uh, there are going to be, I think, vinyl windows, black on the outside, white on the inside. And, um, yeah, I'm a little excited. Met uh, three of the boys that are from the, the framing crew. And, um, 
yeah so some of y'all must be praying for me because um um it's slowly coming together and um i mean it's been long awaited i mean there's still going to be plenty to do even after they get the framing up and get the framing and then the metal guys will come back and put the metal on the outside and um we'll go from there but um yeah uh, let's just keep praying keep praying because i am so ready i know it's going to be a lot of work um as long as i can get one bathroom operational my bedroom operational um the other um we'll we'll, we'll handle later i mean because i'm just gonna have the concrete floors and i don't know if y'all um uh may watch call your farm i like the way that they stained their milk room they used um, um kind of natural ingredients iron and coffee um and theirs was like i guess it came out to be like a toffee color um i think mine i'll probably try to make it a little bit darker um but the iron puts that little reddish tint in there and it's not that acid washing and i really didn't want to use any chemicals and then they just sealed it so if y'all haven't sorry if y'all haven't checked out coffee form go over and look check out that episode where they um um stained and sealed their uh milk room floor but uh, besides that um uh, not a whole lot going on um just trying to take care of first of the year stuff and let's just everybody keep praying that uh everybody shows up like they're supposed to on saturday and uh, they start building and then uh shane did talk about um him and dean um you know pushing up the dirt and uh fixing all that area on the all around the sides and stuff and we're going to take down another tree so um yeah i just i haven't sat down and talked to y'all for a while but i figured today would be the day to uh, let y'all know what i found out yesterday after the video so um we appreciate you uh and i mean i enjoy doing this uh i enjoy uh the interaction with the subscribers and i have uh, miss clara who comments she's went back and started watching all of our videos and hats off to you miss clara because there's like 486 videos out there uh, it, that we've done i think we're at 485 subscribers and 486 videos so i try to keep my video count up with my subscriber count so if y'all like the content hit that um, thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed come over and subscribe I think it's fixing to get exciting I'm gonna try to video as much as I can I don't want to get in their way don't want to slow them down and um, to bring to y'all because I mean I'm not gonna be doing it they're gonna be doing it and um, I'll be doing some of the interior stuff and you know uh, that's all gonna depend on money and stuff if we can you know get the wood stove if they can help me get the wood stove in and if they can help me get one bathroom done my bedroom all i'll need is you know electrical um in in there and um that way i can stay in there if i need to like if i'm working i can stay in there if i need to and uh instead of going into the travel trailer but the travel i'll probably be still staying in the travel trailer so yeah exciting times and uh i i'm i'm so appreciative uh, of all y'all's prayers and um yeah let's see if 2024 is gonna do us good which you know i keep getting all these surprises it didn't happen quite at christmas but it was close enough so with that said, hit the notification bell so every time we upload a video, you'll be notified. And um, yeah, I got the hoodie on because it, it's chilly out there. And um, I keep my head covered up so I don't get a headache. I don't know how y'all are, um, but uh, I've always, if my head get cold, I get a headache. Anyway, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. Um, I got up and about and spent a lot of time outside not doing a whole lot just spent a lot of time outside yesterday 
and some inside because I redrew some of my plans to kind of do this schematic of how I want the loft. But uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all. Hit the notification bell so every time we upload a video, you'll be notified. And uh, we'll catch y'all on the next one.